Well, I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Oh, I'm going to Louisiana with my true love for to see. Oh, Susanna, oh, won't you cry for me? Well, I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. That's my abacus. She always steals my stuff. Hey, everyone. So I've got another Super Reality Teenage Witch episode today, and this is episode 22 of the first season, The Great Mistake. I will say, first of all, this is one of my all-time favourite episodes. It just combines everything I love, it's very fun, all of the cast are in it, all of the season one cast are in this, all the main cast, so everybody's in there, so that I really really love, and just the plot itself is, is really really good. Um, so Sabrina's doing a series of things which is going against her auntie's wishes, so she buys a tomorrow ball from a salesperson. What's a tomorrow ball? That's one of the best things ever. She buys a tomorrow ball and her aunts are like, you shouldn't have done that, we told you not to, Fine, fair enough. And then she sneaks out of her window on her hoover, as you do, to go to a Smashing Pumpkins concert, as you do. And that was against her auntie's wishes, and she got caught, and she got sent back. And yeah, she's in deep, deep trouble, but because she's so overcome with guilt, she shrinks. And you just have this teeny, teeny, tiny little Melissa sitting on a bed. And her aunts actually took it kind of well. They weren't, like, shouting at her or anything, but I think the aunts have a really sort of, kind of, modern approach to parenting even though it was only in the 90s but whatever um yeah because the 90s was so long ago <laughs> anyway and she's like well you know if you tell me some of your stories of things that you've done wrong and things you regret maybe i'll feel better and they, 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 they do yeah we start off with salem and salem talks about his past and how he tried to take over the world of course and how how hilda worked for him and that's really the first time we get a proper look into why Salem is actually a house pet and why Hilda and Zelda came to own him and it's 22 episodes in but obviously that sets us up really for a lot of the stories that follow in the other six seasons so that's really beneficial not only is it interesting and fun but it's you know it's really vital as well that we learn these things and it helps you make more sense of other episodes it's good um <coughs> my favorite of Hilda's would be when she got married or when she tried to get married and that didn't quite work um, I love that. Beth's hair in that scene is gorgeous. Um, but Beth has the best ones. Um, the Green Sleeves one is beautiful because I love that song. And um, the whole, oh, I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. That one, that one is the best scene ever. Mainly because I love Beth's accent and I love it when she sings. But it just looks so fun in those dresses. And I always join in with the dance and the song whenever that's on. So for, for this 22 minute episode, I spend about 40 seconds of it dancing. It's pretty fun. So I love that so much. And normally, I don't, I, normally with television, I hate episodes that, like, flash back. I just hate them, and I'm like, this is boring, I want to live in the present episode, not the flashbacks. Because all of these flashbacks are fresh material, they're not flashbacks to previous episodes, it's alright. Plus, they are very fun, um, flashbacks. So I do really like that a lot. There really isn't one, plus you have the moral. Yeah, the whole moral of the story is don't, you know, disobey. Um, yeah, so it literally has everything, this episode, fantastic, you know, the cast is there, the plot is great, the music's great, the scenes are fantastic, it's just, oh, I love it so, so much, there's not one thing about the great mistake that I dislike. Please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on this, um, I'd be keen, I'd be keen, I would be keen, I am keen, not that I would be, I am keen to see if anybody else sort of loves this one, I'll be honest with you, <coughs> when people talk to me about Sabrina, because a lot of people do ask me questions about Sabrina, they, they often like to share with me their favourite episodes, which I love. You know, if you ever want to talk to me about your favourite episodes of Sabrina, drop me a message, I will reply. Believe me, if you just put Sabrina in the in the subject bar of an email, I will read that email. <coughs> but this is one that never really comes up when people are talking about their favourite episodes. People don't tend to mention it, which is a shame, because I love it. Yeah. Oh, and I love the whole, that's my abacus thingy. Yeah. That's in my introduction. Yeah, <laughs> but please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!